Hey, this is Nick from Nintendo Dads. I am here reviewing a game called Retimed. Brought to us by or developed by Team Maniacs and published by Strayfon Studio. We want to give them both a big shout out for giving us a code so that we could give you fine folks a review. Come on with me and see how much time you need to spend with Retimed. See what I did there? All right, so I best describe Retimed as a local multiplayer shooter. Uh, shooting platform, really. Uh, there's a lot of platforming, there's a lot of shooting, but most importantly what you need to hear out of that is that it is only local multiplayer, meaning there is no single player option, there is no online option. So if you do not have a group of friends that can come over or you can go over to their house to play this game, then all you're going to do is sit there and look at the intro screen. Because when I started it up, that's what I did. I had to find a friend find a friend anyways um so but if you do have that group of friends that you play with every once in a while then man let's take a look at this game because let me tell you uh there is a lot of fun options here in retime a lot of different control schemes that you do not see in other shooters so what you're seeing here is Retime's getting ready screen, basically. Uh, four players can join right here. They get to choose one of four different characters available in the game. Those characters are only cosmetic differences. There are no different attributes to the characters. Um, they can make uh, or edit a profile, which will get their name in the game in the leaderboards in the gameplay. Um, and they can also choose their uh, controller style, which is anything from single Joy-Con Pro or uh, Joy-Cons doubled up. They jump out the door and then they get to the map screen. Six different maps, all of them have different attributes. Everything from being able to shoot through platforms, uh, bullets may bounce off of ceilings and walls. Um, there are a couple others too. The, the maps are small, which actually is a good thing because it keeps the action uh, intense and uh, it also, the attributes add to the strategy of how you play the game. So the controls in Retimed are pretty simple. You have three major features. You have the ability to do a dash, you have which actually uses a bullet. You have the ability to slide, um, kind of like you're coming into home plate feet first. And then you have the ability to do a double jump or a wall jump. It kind of could be both, like as you see right there. Um, those are your main controls. There are not gun options. You have one gun and that's it. You spawn with four bullets. And as you can see on the screen right here, there are four options of places to pick up bullets. When a player picks up bullets, it has a, uh, it has a, a timer that starts before the bullets end up coming back on the screen. Um, that adds to the strategy. You can pick up bullets at any time as long as you have used at least one of your six bullets. Um, and there's a lot of strategy in that. So why is it called retime, you ask? Well, I'm glad you did. Uh, it's called retime because one of one of the features, the main, the key uh, mechanism in retime is the fact that when a bullet gets close, as you've been able to see, when a bullet gets close to an opponent, the screen slows down, the play slows down for for some time, and allows two things. One, if it's very frantic, allows that player to figure out how they're going to be able to avoid those bullets, or two, and better yet, allows everybody to see how they die. So what you're about to see here is the different options, the different modes you have available to you in Retimed. Uh, you have everything from deathmatch, uh, a free-for-all fight, to team deathmatch where you uh, you can go two-on-two -two, uh, and fight to the death, or even tournaments where you can play singular maps or tournament championships, which is what you're seeing here, where the game chooses four maps at random and it's a point style win. So you play through each of the maps. Each time uh, you're done with one map, depending on where you placed, you'll get a, a certain amount of points, and whoever after the four maps has the most points wins. Uh, this game is set up in such a way with the modes and the different maps uh, that, the, that the developer, the publisher, actually considers this game eSports ready. So guys, uh, my final thoughts on this game. If you have friends who can come over and play multiplayer on the couch with you, then man, this game, if you like shooters, this game should for you should be for you because the the action is frantic, the gameplay is hilarious, it's so fun to watch your your opponent in slow-mo try to dodge like a hail of gunfire. Um, you respawn super quick so you're back in the action 
uh, with, with no hesitation, no weight. Uh, all those things just add up to me that y you should pick this game up. Um, if you're looking for a precise shooter where the aiming is 100% always, you know, always on point, sometimes the aiming is a touch wonky, um, but not so much. This isn't the type of game that I'm going to sit there and say that that's a big deal. Um, usually I'm laughing so hard that I'm probably not aiming as well as I should anyways. So I, you know, we had, the, the friends I played with this game had a ton of fun, and I suggest that if you, if you like what you see here, you should definitely pick it up. It is worth the $15 over and over again. You'll have fun, there's a variety in maps, a variety in modes. The only thing I wish, they need to do like a switch, like where you can link the switches together locally so that you can get some eight player, um, frantic, make the arenas a little bit bigger, do eight players, man, that would be hilarious. So if, if the developer's listening to this, please do that, because that would be awesome to see. Um, I really, really enjoyed this game, guys. Hey, this is Nick from Nintendo Dads, signing out. See you later. Game over.